And here's another classic problem involving Newton's second law in circular motion. We have a car on the road driving at a certain speed. The road curves has a curvature radius of 75 meters. Let's say the car has a mass of 1,000 kilograms. And the coefficient of friction between the tires and the road is 0.3. How fast can this car drive around this curve before it starts slipping off the road? All right, so one way to think about it is this. What is keeping the car on the road? Well, it would be the friction forces between the tire and the road. And the way to find those would be to say, start with, okay, we know the car has weight, which is mg. That means the road will be pushing back on the car with a normal force n, which is the reactionary force to the weight, which is equal to the weight of the car, mg. And then, of course, there's the friction force. And what keeps the car on the road would be the friction, and that would then be providing the centripetal force. So you can then think of it as, where's my purple color right here? Here's my purple. So think of the friction force to the left, force friction, which keeps the car on the road, and that is equal to the normal force times mu. And of course, the normal force is the weight, mg mu. And what would be pulling the car off the road? Well, it would be that fictitious centrifugal force which would push the car to the outside. We call that the fictitious centrifugal force, which is equal to mv squared over r. And if this is bigger than this, the car will go off the road. If this is smaller than this, the car will stay on the road. So what is the maximum velocity that you can have? The maximum velocity can be determined by setting this equal to this and solving for v because this is the maximum friction force that can exist between the tires and the road. So let's set those two equal to each other. So force friction is equal to the centrifugal force. So we have mg mu is equal to mv squared over r. And then we solve that equation for v. Notice that the mass cancels on both sides. Bring in the r over here and turn the equation around. We get v squared is equal to rg times mu, which means that the velocity cannot be any bigger than the square root of rg mu. All right, let's plug in the numbers and find out what that is. So this is equal to the square root of the radius, which is 75 meters. The acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And mu, which was 0.3. Three. All right. Let's find out what that's equal to. 75 times 9.8 times 0.3. Take the square root. And 14.85. Let's just call it 14.8 meters per second. 14.8 meters per second. Which is the maximum velocity the car can have before the friction between the tire and the road can no longer keep it on the road. How fast is that? 15 meters per second. Hmm. If we convert that to miles per hour, what do we get? So let's see here. So 14.8 uh, times 3,600 divided by 1,609. That's 33 miles per hour. Hmm. That's not very fast. So when you hit a curve like that, slow down or you might leave the road. All right, that is how you do this classic problem. We'll have a few more like that, maybe with banked curves and all that, and see how we have to work those out. All right, that's a good start.